Welcome back, everybody, for just joining us. Uh, we've been here at Park Inn by Radisson, and we've been speaking to some of the biggest ladies in the music industry right now who've released uh, songs that are, like, dominating the airwaves. And right now, I have a lady who's a singer, songwriter, and a BET Awards nominee. And I just realized that for the past, I want to say, five years, I have been utterly butchering her name. I thought she was Karoon. But right now, she was like, mm, you know, Karen. It's actually Karen. I'm like, what? No, it's not. That's it's not your name. Karen. I was about to fight with you. I was like, no, yeah, you're that's wrong. Not you. <laughs> that's um, not true. How is that? How is it the whole world? And everyone, like everyone on set also was like, same what? Karun. I Karun. actually don't mind anymore. But initially, it was really irritating. But how did, how did Karun come and stick? Because in Kamala days, it was... You know, the, the media would say your name before you get the chance to say your name. Oh. So everybody would say Karun because of how it's spelled. Because it's short for Karungari. It's not, oh. it's not actually Karen, like the... the yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so they would just be like Karun. But you and I guess your friends say the Karen. Karen. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to so look... So if you know me. So if, yeah, so if you want to look like you know her, <laughs> that's, how, that's how you get into the squad. The cool girls. So it's you, true. You're like, yeah, yeah. it's Karen. Mm -hmm. That's so interesting. Um, all right. So I want to start off with quick fire session okay. before we get into music. Uh, a little bit of motherhood okay. and all the fun stuff in between. Cool. So are you ready for quick fire questions? I think so. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Question number one. Uh, if you had to eat one food for two weeks straight, what would that be? Sushi. Really? I love sushi. Sushi girl? And it's healthy. It's and that's what I was thinking. I was anything. like, that's yeah, yeah. such a good answer. <laughs> you're one of those people who's like... It was the first like, thing that came to my mind. Yeah, you're yeah. not going to like add five kilos in I two should, weeks. I should, though. I'm trying to add weight. I'm actually really? trying to. Yeah. I lost so much weight when I gave birth. That, okay. I, I know. I, that sounds bad. Forget your music. That's forget your music. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> you watch her song. Yeah. What we're going to talk about is like how you lost so much weight after giving birth. Breastfeeding. But also, I'm already skinny. Yeah. And my metabolism is already high. So that just like phew, drained me. Oh, so it's Complete. just like jeans. Jeans. So it's okay. Uh, Never mind. Back to me. <laughs> Back to this. All right. Okay. Yeah. Who's your celebrity crush? What? Whoa, I haven't even thought about that. Can it be a girl? Yeah, of course. Of Sabrina course. Claudia. Okay. I don't know why. It's just something about her okay. and her voice. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, uh, who was the last person you texted or called? My boyfriend. Okay. Oh, boyfriends are a big hit. Boyfriends? Yeah, really? because even um, just now, that's Rosa what Rosa said. said oh. Her boyfriend. I was like, all right, boyfriends. <laughs> um, one sentence in your mother tongue. Please give me one sentence. Nike kohora. Okay. That means I'll beat you. <laughs> That's the that's the one, only one I know in my life. <laughs> why and where do you use that one? <laughs> Just know oh, that I was one of those kids. <laughs> you never know. Okay, last question. Yeah. Um, if you had a million shillings right now, if I give you a million shillings, what would you spend that on? I would create an artist hub or an artist incubator. Okay. Just to like kickstart artist careers because yeah. I feel like artists always need a space. Yeah. Yeah. Especially okay. the youth, like young artists. I agree. I agree. So let's go back to your youth um, yeah. and like back. Back before Camp Mula, mm -hmm. um, do you remember the first time you thought, I think I love this, I think I love performance and music and singing, mm. songwriting? You know, I can't remember the first time because apparently since I was four years old, I've always wanted to do this. Really? So I, there was no one moment, I just always, yeah, I've did, always known. And did your family try and make sure that they created an environment that was inducive and conducive, yeah. rather, to For that? Sure. Yeah, because yeah, I never even wanted a plan B, you know, like, people outside would be like, what's your plan B? You know, you need to make money. I'd be like, I'm nah. going to make this work. <laughs> really? Yeah. So tell me what the next step was for you. If once you realized that this is really your passion, um, what yeah. did you have to study? What did you have to practice? How did you continue to make this your career? I guess in school, I always took music lessons. I always did extra like piano lessons, violin. I tried everything, drums, mm. bass, guitar, everything. I was always in the plays. I, like I would just do as much music as I could in school tea time concerts <laughs> yeah. I was prep school then in high school same thing I would always just like lend my hand whatever they needed it I made playlists for the dancers like I was that's how I learned how to produce actually I used logic and then I went to college for music um, Berkeley College so it's just been <laughs> it's been there yeah what was always. that like or oh, even before that um, can we talk a little bit about your days at Camp Mula and what would you say was the biggest lesson for you from that phase of your life 
the biggest lesson for me was yeah. just With to keep it. With regards to the music, yeah. Yeah, to keep yeah. it about the music. Oh. Because we got a lot of attention, and it's like easy to be like, oh, I want to do like a lot of other things. Yeah. Just make it about the drama and about your personal life, right. or just about like money. I don't know. There was just a lot of distractions, and it's yeah. just like what kept me sane was to keep it about the music. Oh, that's so smart. And I think, especially, say, I mean, can I ask how old you were? Do you mind sharing how old you were when it all... 16, 17. So that's still quite young, huh? Yeah, And from what, young. what we've heard or seen in Hollywood, the younger you are immersed into this culture and world of, like, incredible, you know, fandom and people just, like, completely lose... I was losing it for you guys. Let me tell you, I was blasting Cat <laughs> Mula. I remember my uni days yeah. and I'd just oh, be like... Oh, no, I was Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, I just okay. was, like, obsessed. <laughs> I was like, they're just so cool. And even before, yeah. even before uni. But um, That's so I can only imagine. <laughs> I can only imagine what it must have been like, and for you to for have um, yeah. gotten and that. And I was in school too. Oh, People wow. pretend they didn't. <laughs> Really? They pretend like this is not Miss Karoon and they'd act weird. Yeah. yeah. You it said Miss Karoon! Yeah, you see, because that's what I was called at the time. Mm. So it's like, looking back, that was Miss <laughs> Karoon. Now, now I'm Karen. Now she's Karen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so tell me about Berkeley. Uh, Berkeley was crazy. So, wow. It's just like a bunch of prodigies. Yeah. All in one place. Do, all different kinds of artists. Do, mm -hmm. do you find in that space that you feel at home or do you start to think, Oh, I thought I was like the unicorn. Yeah, so initially and there it's are like, like whoa. <laughs> many crazy. of us. Yeah. Yeah, because you're always that one kid who's obsessed with music. You yeah. know, in, in your school, yeah. you're like you're that one kid. You're yeah. the special one. Now you're there. Everybody's that special kid yeah. who's specially like talented, yeah. super talented. So at first it was a bit shocking, but then after a while it becomes like you feel normal. Like everyone just bursts into harmony, like walking down the hallway. You know, like it's just like. You feel you start to feel like everybody's a musician, that, and then you leave. That sounds like such a dream. Like you're just walking <laughs> down the hallway, and people just burst into song and harmonizing. Like, yeah, oh, like, beautiful. And yeah. what was the um, greatest lesson for you from that? That okay. everybody has their own path. Mm. Yeah, because like one of my roommates, she's amazing. Her name is Mariana. Mm -hmm. She's on tour now with like another prodigy, Jacob yeah. Collier. And she would practice hard. She would be up all night mm -hmm. practicing whatever she's doing. Mm -hmm. she, she'd work super hard. And I was like, wow, I should do that. <laughs> but then I, I was in a different place in my career completely. I needed to find out who I am as me because it was after the Kamula phase. And, mm -hmm. and a lot of stuff was projected onto me. So I had to just figure out who the hell I am before and I like dive into my music completely. So right. it's like, I learned that, yeah, everybody is um, on their own journey yeah. and just like take it, take it easy. Yeah, and speaking mm -hmm. on of being on your own journey, another journey that you embarked on is motherhood. Um, yeah. And I think we were pregnant around this. When? How old is your My son? son? Yeah, he's two and four months now. Yeah. Yeah, two about years. that. We were pregnant about the same time. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and wow. yeah, and I, I'm curious. What has motherhood brought to your music? And has it, if it has at all? It's just made me more serious. It's just, I, I like, I, I don't know, I go all in. I'm mm. like really all about just doing it properly this right. time. Right, okay. Yeah. So, Cause it's me. like it's for him, you know, I have right. to do this right. Yeah. Um, so, tell me about your music now. How different is it? How would you describe it? Um, and mm. what's, been, what's been the greatest challenge for you in this phase too, in trying to find this new version of, of Karen? So I don't know if you knew, but I was in a group called Cosmic Homies mm. like a couple months back, a couple years back. Okay. And we did really alternative, soulful, electro, experimental music. Yeah. And that was really fun. Yeah. And so I got all of that out of me. Like all the experimentation is yeah. out of me. And now I'm like, cool, I can go back to kind of being, I wouldn't say mainstream, but just like more accessible. So I think okay. my music right now is a lot more accessible. Yeah. And authentic to me oh that's what i was gonna ask yeah. would you say it is you because mm -hmm. um even earlier we were spe I was speaking to rosa and we were talking about that and and if there's ever um some kind of like dissonance or, or do you feel like the version of you that you put out in your music is true to you um yeah. and still able to you know be you know be Relatable a big hit yeah yeah i feel like now more than ever because before i always felt like i was just experimenting and sometimes people would be like cool this is who she is this is who she is yeah. and then they'd like take that a bit out of proportion and I'd be like no 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 no, no. I'm still figuring it out right. but this is like completely this is me right yeah and I don't know glow up seems to have 
hit a lot of people. Yeah, like, it's it kind of where, uh, well, I watched it over the weekend, and when I did, I it was after I even saw your tweet, and you're like, over 100,000 views. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I need to watch this. Yeah. Real quick, I love the video. Thank you. Tell me it's about. All girls. Yeah, I know. I love it. And yeah. like color, <laughs> popping. Um, yeah. yeah, red. And it's, it's, it's a beautiful video. You have to watch it. So tell me about Glow Up. Um, I wrote Glow Up. So I, I was just sick of singing about guys. Like all my songs are love songs. In my, in my next project, all my songs are going to be like love songs. And I'm just like so in love, yeah. and passionate. And are you like, in love? Yeah, I yeah. am. Oh, that's why. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> but it was like, no, why do I always have to sing about a guy? Like girls are so awesome. So yeah. I just wanted to sing about girls, your girlfriend, like giving your girl confidence when she needs it. You know, just telling her like, oh my God, I've never seen you glow up like this. Yeah. It's more like um, an empowerment song. Is that the kind of relationship you have with your girlfriends? Yeah, but I don't get out much, so it's more like on social okay, media. Okay, so like you're doing great, girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look at you. But that just, I feel like that's the only way right now. Right. Until because of how the world is moving. And, and I think yeah. there's been a lot more conversations around empowering the girl child and also just celebrating womanhood mm -hmm. um, and standing up and speaking up. Yeah. So I think and that energy is so strong right now. Like yeah. Females are so strong. Yeah. Like we're, so, we're so beast right now. I'm yeah. so hyped about that. Yeah. And everything. <laughs> and you can see it like um, in, in different forms of art too. And in the different, different um, industries. Industries. Even. Yeah. Even yeah. Yeah. True. True. And but I think even, even in the political world. Even like in crazy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but I think like well, since we're talking about music, for me, the idea that art is also starting to like actively make sure that women are represented and you can see different kinds of women, different mm -hmm. shapes, different Even colors. Even behind the scenes, producers. Exactly, producers, and, Ava, like there's so, uh, there's so many, exactly, yeah, there's so many, awesome. Wanuri, there's so many people, women, who are doing amazing things. Mm -hmm. Right, so why don't you intro <laughs> Glow Up as we're celebrating and like feeding off this woman beast hype. Yeah. Why don't you intro Glow Up before we, you look at this camera be, as we head yeah. into the break. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this next song is called Glow Up. It's for all the girls out there that just need to know that they are awesome. Make your girlfriends feel awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> Watch the video now. <laughs> Crap, can we do that again? <laughs> no, you are good. 